Hello guys, Ghanaians buying the land is different from people in the diaspora buying the same piece of land. <laughs> There's difference. So most of the time is we you know we have you have a good piece of land somewhere and a Ghanaian can identify that this location is very promising. It has road construction that has not gotten to the site yet. Though currently, as you may be seeing, the road is bad, there's no electricity, you know, um, there's a little bit of um, water in one of the areas or whatever it is. A Ghanaian will see all this, but Ghanaian will still go ahead to go buy the piece of property. Because to Ghanaians, they're able to think beyond the current state of, you know, the property. They're able to think beyond the obstacles. They're able to think beyond you know um okay there's no electricity there's no water they, they're able to think beyond that on the other hand my people in the diaspora <laughs> when i say people in the diaspora i mean people who are not from they are not like they are not from africa they they, they, they were not grown here i mean people who are originally they could be africans but they were born grown in europe those people a few of them can can think beyond current state of a property, but most of them, you know, they can they can't think beyond um, they can't think beyond uh, the, the the current state of obstacles. So you find a lot of them they get good piece of land, but the person will be complaining. There's no there's no water in the area. There's no there's no light in the area. There's no good road. There's no by the time you you plan to build the house and finish, maybe you plan to finish to build your house in two years. You don't expect the, the place to be like that in the next two years. Definitely, if there's a road hasn't been constructed, at least there will be water. At least there will be, you know, um, electricity. And that is why, you know, most people in the diaspora, they end up buying properties at very expensive, you know, um, price. Because as at the time, the place used not to be as it is nice today. They say... Previously, the place is not nice. It was, it was having this challenge. If you told them to come and buy the property, they would not agree to buy. Uh -huh. But Ghanaian will close his eyes and go and buy and wait 10 years, 20 years. Then you will not start selling the property and he sells it at a very great margin. So you can think about people who uh, who bought land initially at Lakeside area, people who bought land at Ashalibuke area. 20 years back, 30 years back, they got the land at very cheap price. Some bought land over there at 2,000 Ghana cities, at Ashalibuche lakeside areas. Some bought land over there at 4,000 cities. Some bought land, eh? some even told me they, their great grandfather bought land at some Ashalibuche. It was Bushu. Uh, they bought land 250 Ghana cities. But today, when you are going to buy land at that, that those areas, if you are not holding fifty thousand dollars and above, you will not get a piece of land at that place. And that is why Ghanaians are able, or Africans are able, to always succeed in buying properties. You understand? But I'm not saying all people from the diaspora. But I'm just saying most they expect a perfect world. They expect there to be good road, electricity, you know, um, lights. What's uh, everything should be perfect, and some even go to the extent of expecting, you know, how buildings in the area fine. That's a very good thing, but just know that those things all come with the strength of your pockets. Uh -huh. So, if you are looking forward to getting properties at places that are already developed, they should know that it comes with the strength of your pocket. You don't come with a small pocket and expecting to get. <laughs> You don't know, come with a small packet that they'll be expecting to get all these things for a cheap price. Most of you don't don't learn to understand the difference scam and reality. And that is why most of most people get scammed. You go and see someone will go and show you a piece of land somewhere. There are houses over there. The, in fact the property has been walled and fenced. In fact, there's electricity, there's good road, there's whatever. Then you go and measure a small amount of money. You yourself think, man, think. Thank you. Now, when you think you get to understand that, nah, this one uh, is not balance. Uh -huh. But most people will, will think through, and the worst part of it is that though you had the, 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 the person selling the property at a very cheap price, instead of you to do your due diligence, you won't do it. You won't do due diligence. Giddy, giddy, giddy. You want to go and start with So they pay money. When they make payments, now they want to come and start developing, then they begin having problems from one problem to another. 
then probably they'll go do a land search, start doing their due diligence, and they find out that the person that sold the property to them was actually not having the right to do that. And at the end of the day, they themselves, instead of them to leave it and know that they've lost, they want to sell the property to another person. <laughs> that is why when you reach me, me they, I don't joke with you. I will screw you as a seller of your property and to see. So most people fail, and that's why most people run away from me when they are selling properties. So my name is Imo So that if this is your first time here, kindly subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to you know um, press the bell button so that you get notified whenever we post our new videos. And also take note that you know um, if you want to buy a house in Ghana, you want to buy a land in Ghana, just check in the description of the video. You get my number, then reach me. If you also want someone to help you with due diligence in buying any of your properties in Ghana, just check in the description of the video. You get my number, then reach me. If you want a company to handle your building projects, we have a reputable company for that. My name is Imuru Sadat, and you're welcome to Business Trends Ghana. Subscribe, subscribe to, 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 to Talk Business. business.